Hey everyone, this is a video about drones. It's a part of a series on EVE Online Combat. Drones are like tiny space friends with guns. They can be targeted and can get shot. You can also remote repair them to keep them alive. They will follow your commands and act semi-independently. They are stored in a drone bay, which is a specialized cargo bay of your ship. Almost every ship has a drone bay, however small. Drones take up space in this drone bay. When you use them, they require bandwidth. If your ship has a bigger amount of bandwidth, you can use more and bigger drones. A ship can have a maximum of 5 drones active at one time. For example, the Tristan has a drone bay of 40 cubic meters or M3, so you can put in 8 light drones or 4 medium drones or 1 heavy drone, a medium drone and a light drone. The Tristan has a bandwidth of 25 megabit per second. So you can launch 5 light drones or 2 medium drones and a light drone or one heavy drone at once. You can mix drones as much as you want as long as you have the bandwidth to control them. Drones that you can't launch will stay in your drone base as spares. Every ship has the same drone control range. The base is 20 km. If you train both scout drone operation and electronic warfare drone interfacing to level 5, the range will go up to 60 km for all drones. This range applies to your targets and not to your drones themselves. To control your drones, use the box in space. Next up is the standard behavior of drones. When launched, drones will orbit you. They all share the same goal, to serve the most despicable master around. If you command them to attack, they will move to your target and start to orbit and shoot it. A sentry drone will sit still and shoot at your target. If you tell your drones to return, they will fly straight back to you. They will stay behind if you warp away or log off. You can reconnect to them by right-clicking on your capacitor and selecting Reconnect to Lost Drones. Hey Wilma, I'm home! Many ships have a drone bay, but Galente ships are most commonly associated with drone usage. Amar ships also make a good use of drones. Good examples of Galente ships are the Tristan, the Algas, the Vexer, and the Potato. I mean the Dominics. Examples of Amar ships that use drones are the Sentinel, the Dragoon, the Arbitrator, and Armageddon. Most bonuses apply to all drones. There are three big categories of drones. Combat drones are all drones that do damage. E-war drones are drones that use electronic warfare and utility drones are non-combat drones. First up are combat drones. The size of the drones correspond to gun sizes. Light drones are comparable to small turrets. They have the lowest DPS but are the fastest and they have the best tracking. They are 5M3 and take up 5 megabits per second of bandwidth. Medium drones are the equivalent of a medium-sized turret. They have all-round stats and are good versus cruisers and battle cruisers. They are 10 M3 in size and take up 10 megabits. Heavy and sentry drones are like the large-sized turrets. They are 25 M3 in size and take up 25 Mbits in bandwidth. They do enormous damage if they can keep up with their targets. Heavy drones are big and slow and sentry drones do not move at all. Sentry drones have a long range to compensate. Last are fighters and fighter bombers. These can only be used on capital ships and are only effective against capitals. 
Drones are divided into four different races. Galente drones do the most damage. Minotaur drones are the fastest and have the best tracking. Amar and Galdari are somewhere in the middle. Sentries are special. Galente have the highest damage and tracking and Galdari have the longest range. Amar and Minotaur sentries are somewhere in the middle. When in doubt, use Galente drones to optimize damage and use Minotaur drones for fast and small targets. Ewar drones do the same Ewar effects as the modules, but have very low strength. On top of that, stacking penalties apply, so their effectiveness is severely diminished. ECM drones are the exception, however. Because of how ECM works, stacking penalties do not apply. They are probably the most effective Ewar drones, as they can help you escape in a lot of situations. Other Ewar drones are Energy neutralizing drones, tracking disruption drones, sensor dampening drones, target painting drones, and stasis webifier drones. All of these drones are rarely used because of the aforementioned stacking penalties problem. Utility drones are used outside of combat. Mining drones mine things, like it says on the box of course. They are pretty slow, so stay close to the asteroid you want to mine. Salvaging drones can salvage wrecks just like salvagers. You can right click them and they will salvage all wrecks inside your control range. Logistic drones can repair shields, armor and hull. You can't repair yourself however and they aren't as effective as the repair modules, but they offer great extra repairing to go with your repairing. Drone modules have their own nifty category in the market. In the low slots you can fit a drone damage amplifier to increase damage and an omnidirectional tracking enhancer to increase tracking and range. In the mid slots you can fit an omnidirectional tracking link to increase tracking and range and a drone navigation computer. The drone navigation computer increases the micro warp drive speed of your drones. They use this to get close to far away targets, so fitting one of these computers will reduce the time it takes for your drones to reach their target. In the high slots you can fit a drone link augmenter. This will increase your drone control range by 20 km for the Tech 1 and 24 km for the Tech 2. Stacking penalties will apply for multiple modules. The drone control unit is a module that can only be fitted in capital ships. For each drone control unit, you can control an extra drone. This is the only real way to go beyond the 5 drone heart limit. Thank you for watching this very long video. Drones may be a bit complex at times, but if you get to know them, they can become your best friend. You can always write your comments or corrections to this video. Thank you.